Hey, what's up, Block Fam? Kind of an untraditional video today. I guess more of just like a lifestyle vlog, but uh, I'm headed to get a tattoo. So a lot of you guys have asked me questions about my tattoos, and you guys have asked me to do like kind of like a video explaining like what they mean and all that stuff, which I'll end up having to do at some point. But for today's video, I basically wanted to bring you guys along with me uh, in getting a tattoo. So my right arm is, uh, it's got some space left. My left arm is pretty much full up, done with the left sleeve. So I'm working on just finishing up the right sleeve. So the artist that I'm going to today, he goes by Find Your Smile on Instagram, or his name is Russell Van Shake. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right. We'll ask him whenever we get there. Him and his assistant have basically allowed me to film, which is super cool. So we're gonna be taking you guys through the process of the tattoo that I'm getting today, which is a woman in a lion headdress. One of the tattoos that I have is a woman in a wolf headdress. So basically one wolf, one lion, which the meaning behind that is uh, this poster that I found a while back that had this really just like awesome kind of quote that lifted me up and made me go after and pursue what I wanted whenever I was kind of like in a, uh, like a, in a bad point, not a bad point, but like kind of in a low point in my life and I lost a lot of my confidence. And so I'm putting it on my skin as a constant reminder. I guess we'll explain more about it as we get there and we'll talk to Russell uh, about the tattoo and all that stuff and yeah, lifestyle vlog. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think of this format. Comment down below, drop your thoughts. Let me know if you guys enjoy it. Hopefully you do. here just in time it's about to rain Taco. all right guys so we're sitting here with russell van Sch blah 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 <laughs> i uh, don't know how to say my last name so uh, that's not a joke i i have no idea so i usually go russell van Sch blah 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 or russell van tv static noise russell van Sch russell van yeah it's, it's russell van something or other i don't think i've any ever asked anybody like how to pronounce your last name and they they've said they don't know uh, yeah i mean I don't know, dad bailed when I was like one, so he wasn't around to say it for me. I know my mom says it wrong, so I was like, all right, well, I'll figure it out, I guess. So we were getting into how he was he was getting into tattooing, so you were saying you were in a band, right? My band days, yes. Well, I was in a band called All Those Sleeping, and right as we were like starting to sign, we were trying to figure out how the hell to fund ourselves. And one of the ideas I had was, if I learn how to tattoo, I can tattoo on the road, and just put that money like in the band fund because you know labels and shit take all your money. The original thought, the only reason I'm tattooing at all was I was gonna tattoo, like we were gonna show up early, I was gonna tattoo for like an hour, make a hundred bucks, and then play the tour and then go on. And then um, that sort of started the rift between us and they went that way and I pursued tattooing and that's literally the only reason I'm like, that's that's how I got into it. Not that's, a very fancy story. Well, I mean, it's pretty cool because you <laughs> went from like one creative outlet to like another creative outlet. I was kind of like, well, I have tattoos and piercings. Like, what the f do I do now? So yeah. I was like, all right, we'll, we'll try tattooing. That doesn't look too hard. A little bit I know how. <laughs> Did you go through like an apprenticeship and all that? Yep, yep, went through an apprenticeship. Yeah, that's that's definitely the way you want to go because there's so many little details that like could you figure out on your own? Probably, but like you're 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 doing stuff on people permanently, so it's not like you can just like you learn to cut hair and it grows back. It's like nah, this doesn't grow back. It's there forever. So having that guidance is like really, really important. I heard the process of getting a tattoo removed actually hurts more than getting the tattoo. Yes, yes. So uh, laser removal, is, it's, it's come a long way since then. It definitely hurts more by like a million, but it's so much faster. Yeah. So like it hurts a lot, but for a very tiny amount of time. Yeah. You know, you can get your whole forearm blasted in like five minutes. It's what? Like, yeah, they, they, I don't know if you've seen videos on that, but. Oh, wow. It, uh, it, goes, it goes quick. It just Hurts. Imagine like a hot rubber band right about here and just pop, 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 pop. And you're just like, ah. Damn. <laughs> so, you know, I had to, I had to do it at least once just so I can describe it to people. And I, you know, it was not fun. What'd you get removed? Uh, I just, I just, I had a friend hit me with it. Uh, I was at a tattoo convention. And okay. I was like, hey, you're doing lasers? Like, yeah, I just want to know what it feels like. It's gonna you know, hit me. 
So yeah, he popped me a couple times. I'm like, ooh, yeah, I don't want to do that ever. But... <laughs> it's a scab up or anything after? Uh, yep, yep. It's a, it's, it's very similar to healing a tattoo. Like, okay. you know, you're, you're causing a bunch of damage to the skin, and you're you're breaking down the, the ink molecule enough to let your body absorb it. So that's how tattoos fade and all that jazz. So. So that's why you guys go to a good artist like Russell, so you don't have to get them removed. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it's amazing how many people don't understand the, even just the process of tattooing and like, like why does your tattoo stay in your skin? Like your, your body's in a constant state of trying to get rid of your tattoo and that's why shit fades, but you have to understand like the layers of your skin and your color tones and the, there's, there's, that's why there's an apprenticeship. You, yeah. know, you have to learn all these things so you can do it properly, you know, right out of the gate rather than just sort of guesswork through the first three years of your life and, you know, ruin that many people. You gotta pay your dues. Yeah, so. How long have you been uh, tattooing? I think I'm on year nine. Eight, nine ish. I don't think I hit 10 yet, so. It, it, I, I stopped paying attention to time a long time ago. Like, I, I don't even know when it's my birthday anymore. It's kind of like, I either work today or I don't work today. <laughs> and that's kind of been my life for the last couple of years with this shop opening, so. I was about to say, it's paying off because you're opening up your own shop, so hard work leading to something and it looks oh, looks yeah. beautiful from it's, the pictures you showed it's, me. It's gonna be something super special. What are you calling it? Uh, I'm calling it Arlia. So Arlia, I, funny story with that, well not funny, but it, uh, it it came from two words. Like I originally I wanted to call it uh, Hylia and Hylia is the goddess from the Legend of Zelda games. Oh, I was gonna say. So yeah. I was like, yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm a big nerd. I like that sort of stuff, that'd be cool. But it just wasn't, it didn't grab me, you know, like logo design on it was kind of hard to do and um, I wasn't just feeling it. So I'm like, all right, back to the drawing board. Let's uh, let's figure out if we can, you know, come up with a new name. So first thought was, well, I wanted to start with the letter A because that's alphabetical order and Google results and, you know, literally the only reason. The business that. side, yeah, <laughs> kicking yeah, in. So I was like, all right, you know, doing that. And then the next step was, you know, what, what else do I enjoy? Well, the letter A is this. I like words that end in the same letter and make logo design super easy. And then uh, my little brother who passed away a while ago, he, uh, he used to work at a place called Aria. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool, the thing, blah, blah. But then I looked it up and it's like a hotel in Vegas and it's yeah. like uh, the, the Game of Thrones person. Or, you know, so it's all over the place. So I'm like, ah, it doesn't like stand out. And then I was, I was uh, standing in the shower one day. I have a, uh, like glass doors and I do all my note taking on there. Like I came up with so much shit just standing there writing in the, the steam on the shower. It's like, oh, here's a logo and this. And like, I planned out so much shit in there. That's funny, but then it goes away. <laughs> but yeah, then it goes away and it's just like, you can write again and you're just kind of like, oh, like, you know, just pondering. Like, um, I like to take a shower in the dark. I don't know if anyone's ever done that, but like, it's so meditative and just, it's just very quiet. water it's kind of like hyperbaric and so anyway so yeah i was right there and i'm like well what if i combine the two words hylia and aria and i came up with arlia and i'm like oh that's awesome cool i wonder what that is and it's actually uh the planet that all the saiyans are from in dragon ball z I have a planet arlia vegeta pop it's one of the most expensive pops that are out there so like i knew the word but i created the word without realizing i created a nerd word i already knew <laughs> So I was like, oh shit, that's definitely it. So like, it was one of those like eureka moments. I'm like, oh, that's, yep, that's, that's the one. That's when I knew and I was like, all right, it's time. That's, that's what we're doing. Can't wait to check it out, man. Oh, yeah, see, it's gonna be so cool. It will literally, it's going to change the way people look at tattoo shops. Like it's, it's game changing. Yeah, I know you've, uh, I've watched the videos and stuff on your site and like the little, the little snippets that you do. And it's, yeah, it, it's, hype. It's, it's gonna be fun. There's a lot, a lot of people are watching. I've had, uh, I think two spies. I've had two threats and one threat of my life. Actually. Spies? Yeah, literally trying to find out more information about it, where it's gonna be, what I'm gonna do, why is it different, who are you hiring, like what's gonna be different about it, blah 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 blah. And I'm just like, I haven't even drawn it yet, so I don't know where you're getting this like whole I'm copying you thing. A threat on your life over a tattoo yeah, shop? Yeah, yes. Another another person literally said they were going to kill me if I uh, opened my shop, because I guess I'm close to them or something. And I was just like, um, Okay, if you want to, like, I, I don't give a shit about bullies that much personally, but interesting, like, wow, you're gonna go that far. So, yeah, I, I've, I've always had a target on my back for some reason, I'm not sure why, but I was like, okay, well, keep shooting, I'm gonna keep going, so, raw. <laughs> I live my motto by, like, I want everyone to make a million dollars, like, I don't need two million, let's all have a million, like, let's, let's all make money. 
That's so, awesome. So, you know, I've, I've never been, you know, the type to talk a bunch of shit or like, you know, if, if I have opinions, I'll tell you to your face, like that sort of stuff, because that's how adults act. Yep. No, I mean, I'm hoping, you know, with this opening that I'll be able to encourage artists to like, hey, come drink, draw, like, let's do, let's do stuff, let's be a, a family because we're lucky as to do what we do. Like, yeah. If every tattoo artist, you know, was told, hey, you can't be a tattoo artist anymore, the world would still be fine. Tattoos are a luxury, 100%. So when you, when you lose sight of that, that's when you get in trouble. And that ego starts creeping in and you're kind of like, oh. So I do my best to avoid that and really realize like I'm lucky as to do this every day. That's awesome that you're humble like that, man. Despite like the, the, the status of like, I mean, cause you're a very in-demand artist. I've been trying to book you for a while. <laughs> Believe me, yeah, like uh, <laughs> your, your books don't stay open for long. So I tried booking you like a year ago one time and I, I filled out the form on the site. I didn't, re I didn't realize what all was gonna be required in terms of putting together examples and descriptions and stuff. And I was like, okay, like this is thorough. It, it makes it so much easier. Oh yeah, on you especially. Yeah. So for those of you looking to book a tattoo, get a tattoo artist that you're actually like liking, be sure to provide as much information as you can to them. Send examples and all that stuff because it helps them out quite a yeah, bit. Just point, point me in a direction. Like I can draw a whole bunch of things, but I need to know like as much as most people think like oh just do what you want is like awesome for us it's like well, if i'm doing what i want you're getting a pokemon or like, <laughs> and i don't think you want like that so yeah. what point just point me that way and then let me draw yeah. it's like you want in pikachu so, today or charizard yeah exactly <laughs> you're getting one of them so i tried to book you probably about a year ago i started filling out the the page and i got about halfway through it and then i had to go do something and then i came back and like i filled out the rest of it and i hit submit and like it just totally wiped everything off the page and oh. your books were closed and i was like no oh, <laughs> so when i got an email back this time i'm like yes yeah that, that's one issue i've tried to address too like i just leave the books open for a while yeah. like, even when i have more than i need it's a fine-tuned like well-oiled machine now yeah. man it's it's good man. it's gotten to that point you so. found it you found the what works for you yep that's, yeah. that's been the plan almost ready Looks great, man. All right, guys, she's wrapped up. We'll do a follow up whenever she's starting to heal. But there you go. Appreciate it, man. I'm smiling under here, but you can't see <laughs> the fucking mask. <laughs> yeah. But he's following all the rules. Yep. Yep. Mask. You guys be sure to go follow Russell Van. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Russell Van something or other. Yeah. Find your smile find on Instagram. Your smile, yes. find Russell exactly. Van, find your smile. There we go. Awesome work. You guys saw the time lapse and all that good stuff. Man, dude, seriously, like really no, it was great fun. job. It was. Yeah. Oh, I'm not black and red miles. It's very refreshing. Yeah. Uh. All right, Black Fam, that's getting a tattoo. 
man, just super cool being able to like hang out. Like that was probably one of the coolest tattoo sessions that I've had. Got to basically meet, get some art from Russell, Russell Van Shh, <laughs> however, however you say his name. Just the conversation was, was super awesome. Uh, turned me on to like kind of a lot of new uh, shows to watch in terms of going through some stuff. So just super relatable, man. Definitely one of the uh, cooler tattoo sessions that I've had. So, Russell, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. If you guys are in the Central Florida area, I mean, hell, even if you're just in the Florida area and you're looking for somebody that does like quality work, uh, I always try to find artists that have like really quality stuff. You know, it's like uh, getting to that point of like just like collecting. So y'all be sure to check them out at uh, the link down in the description below. It's uh, instagram.com slash find your smile. And he's really known for watercolor, but as you guys can see by this black and gray that he's just a talented guy and he's really able to do some cool stuff. So if you guys have any questions, be sure to drop them down in the comments below. I get a lot of you guys that ask questions about like, how do you get a good tattoo? And you know, it's, it's a pretty easy process. You know, you find an artist that you like the style of, you know, you contact them and then you give them as much information as you can. It's one of the things that Russell and I were talking about is being incredibly thorough with the information that you give your tattoo artist so that they know what direction to go to take this thing that's gonna be on your skin, on your body forever, uh, and to basically deliver a quality product to you. So, I mean, that's, that's the aim of it. And they wanna make you happy and you wanna be happy with what you get. So set up a booking or consultation and, uh, just kind of go from there and you know hopefully you guys can collaborate work together to come up with something that you really love and enjoy hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode something a little different i know like i said you guys always ask me about my tattoos so figured why not take you guys along for the ride so let you guys see what the process is like and uh every tattoo artist is different and man i cannot emphasize enough how great of an experience that was just hanging with russell watching some of the stuff that we watched on TV and, uh, you know, getting this badass piece of artwork on my arm. So thanks again, man. Appreciate you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. Hitting that like button helps the channel quite a bit. If you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to hit subscribe. If you want some more content like this, be sure to let me know. Drop a comment down below if you guys enjoyed this kind of stuff. It's usually like a motorcycle, you know, but a little off the beaten path. So if you guys want some more stuff kind of like this, I don't know, lifestyle vlogs maybe, uh, be sure to let me know. Until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Ink safe, I guess. Stay vigilant. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.